Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Beavis and Butthead Do the Universe by Mike Judge. Now, before I get into this, welcome back to Beavis and Butthead after I did that America movie that last year. So, is it as good as that film? Well, we're about to find out. And it's only available on Paramount+. Plus. For those of you that don't have it, would like to purchase it for maybe a limited amount of time, or want to see the movie, something like that, feel free. But, depending on how my reading goes, let's see how this goes. In outer space, Beavis and Butthead fly like they're in Star Wars, which looked fun until we get the rest of the movie. We get the story told by Beavis and Butthead starting at a science fair in 1998 and fail at it while Butthead kicks Beavis in the nuts and Butthead gets Beavis kicked in the whole school gym and gets sent to court as they go to space camp as the judge makes a point about Neil Armstrong and makes Beavis and Butthead go to space camp. Now, is it necessary? No. As they get to space camp, they beat Serena Ryan, and the only thing Beavis and Butthead pay attention to are things the wrong way around, like shoving a rocket penis in an a-hole, and they do it for 18 hours without food, sleep, and water, and it is crude for sure, but I'm not laughing as much as in the TV show, and Serena asks Beavis and Butthead to do it in space, and they get the idea that they're going to score with Serena, which... It's stupid, sure, but you ex you should expect stupid for Beavis and Butthead. As I didn't mind it in the first feature film, but here I kind of minded. As we'll get li we'll get later on, Beavis kind of maturing, which is a twist I didn't expect m that much, but nor did I mind it. At one point, Beavis makes a mature speech about going into space, which is, again, an interesting choice. Beavis, Butthead, and Serena... And are going into space with some other volunteers and the animation on this was isn't what i remember based on the tv show and i unfortunately didn't quite find it an improvement and is it as good or better than the first film N not really honestly beavis and butthead waste nasa's time by not paying attention to serena doesn't have it as sh she doesn't have a choice to, but to force beavis and butthead to go into space and to sacrifice them in space, and they go in the universe where it's the current year of 2022 in the state of Texas, which is based on this movie is w because it's where Highland is taking place in, which something I didn't know about from this movie, from Highland, from the show, but... And Serena is running for the governor of Texas, and am I finding this as funny as what critics are saying? No, because... They were better off on the TV, and sequels to comedies, in my opinion, are the worst choice in sequel history. And I was shocked this got a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, as I had to watch this twice for this review. And I'm not finding the story as funny as the TV show, where different things are happening, as I'm not a fan of them doing the same story for 90 minutes. Beavis and Butthead find smart Beavis and smart Butthead from the future on the beach, as they want them to enter a space portal. In the next two days, and else, or else the universe is gone, and their stupidity for 90 minutes isn't as good as the TV show or their first movie, which says the difference is this one the first movie was 10 minutes shorter than this movie, maybe five minutes, I don't know. Serena finds out Beavis and Butthead are alive and wants to kill them for a good while. They're loving a cell phone for to pay for their nachos 24/7 while making a mess in bars and their hotel while Beavis connects with Siri, not Serena, but Siri as in the Apple iPhone talker, and talks with her as Beavis believes it's Serena. And this is when Beavis becomes more mature than Butthead with, while some Texan Texas agents try to find Beavis and Butthead, and so does Serena and her co-governor, Jim Hartson. And the course language in this came off as a, as a surprise, even though it is PG-13, sure, while Butthead kicks the door to a porter potty as Beavis talks with Siri and gets stuck in the porter potty hole while on the way to their house in Highland. And they go and they get to Woodson and they get and they find the phone. And why does Beavis not stink after Butthead told him he stinks, which bothered me so badly? The smart version of Beavis and Butthead appears once again while at a college. And disappear again and get in a classroom and offend the class as the teacher makes them learn a bit about white privilege, which kind of pissed me off. 
as it sounds like the corrupt government we have today, as that pissed me off, too. I'm not going to get into full details on this, of course, but Beavis and Butthead get in prison while Beavis eats up some drugs and becomes the great cornholio and demands TP, meaning toilet paper, with the prisoners, which was the best thing about the movie, and that isn't saying much, unfortunately. They bring extra toilet paper to the prison and get out of jail and pretend they were never here for what reason? I don't understand, as it makes no sense. Serena gets a couple of prisoners pardoned and get tied up on a tree, which also made no sense to me. Like, why would you do that? Beavis and Butthead get back home in Highland and learn their house is on sale as they've been gone for a long time. As Butthead talks smack about Beavis and Beavis does the same to Butthead and beat each other up and go their separate ways and eventually miss each other. And this is the point I turn against the sequel and start thinking is bad. Beavis and Butthead get captured the, by the Texas agents and Serena get trapped together while Jim tries to let them go in a green car and are led to believe Jim wants to score with Serena, which isn't, which he isn't trying to as his plot is to put Serena in jail for abusing him for all these years, which is a bit cliche, sure. Beavis and Butthead go in the green car after agents back out of the house, back, go back to the house and they don't know it's Beavis and Butthead, as the two boys really don't know what how to freaking drive. And this movie is making me nuts, and the car chase is so dumb. And again, expect dumb from Beavis and Butthead. The smart version of Beavis and Butthead appear the, in the car to tell them to go to the portal, but they stop and bump them out, and they get back to Serena, and the agents, and as they bump at their house, and they confess they want to score with them with Serena before they score or they want to kill them before they score with Serena and she re, she retract she gets the wrong idea what she said at space camp and recalls and realizes they want to have sexual intercourse with her while Jim wants to put her in jail and smart Beavis and Butthead arrive and Jim goes in the portal and smart Beavis and Butthead takes Serena to have sexual intercourse while Beavis and Butthead, the real ones, learn to love each other. And the climax was way too much, for sure. But at the end of the day, I thought it was a bad idea to make a sequel to Beavis and Butthead. Including a movie that was based on a TV show. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 4.4 out of 10. The animation on this is not as good as the TV show, nor the first movie. And the story goes absolutely nowhere, and I'm not the biggest fan of watching these dimwits for 90 minutes, unless if they're on TV, where they do different things. Whereas in this movie, in the first film, they did the same plot for 80 to 90 minutes. It's the same thing. The movie is stupid, but you have to expect stupid from Beavis and Butthead, which I did, as the best scene is the great Cornholio. And that's not saying much, and Beavis acting mature in some of these scenes was... An interesting choice, in my opinion. The movie is a typical 90-minute episode of the TV show, and if you're a fan of it, which I'm not for... I mean, if it's a 90-minute TV movie, that would be one thing, but if it was an actual movie like this was, except they didn't go to theaters, then you'll love this movie, as the first film was enough, but because they made a sequel, it, but unfortunately not good enough for me, as this is a weak non-recommendation, and what shocked me was it got a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes, which I believe doesn't deserve it, so it's unfortunately overrated in my opinion. So I'd like to thank you guys for coming back with me to Beavis and Butthead. And until then... <laughs>